morning my friends i am bella this is beauty and beyond and today i want to talk to you about moving and where where it is on the scale of things i know it's one of the up there as stress related things as so polls say it's one of the the most stress related things and i've got to agree with that because i'm super stressed How it's worked out is we've wanted to come south for some time, but the circumstances and how it is now with property and moving, it's just a nightmare here. I mean, I don't know what it's like in the rest of the world, but it's a nightmare here. Um, but it's hard, it's been harder and harder for us to stay in the north. We have absolutely no other family there. Um, it, so it's just each other and all our family is south so we came south for a little while just to sort of um, have a break and we just don't want to go back we just don't want to go back I, I've got friends in the north that I love dearly but my family are here our family are here down south um, so we, we stayed for a little while. Now my daughter, my youngest daughter has got a flat below her house. Um, and we're staying there, um, until such time the property becomes a little bit easier. And, um, then we want to get our own place. We're very close by, very close by. So because I've had the situation with my back, um, and that's quite difficult for me to do things baz has gone north and he's going to pack up and he's been packing up so he he went last thursday and um obviously we're talking every day we're we're skype it's not skype now is it you know we're <laughs> filming each other every day for his facetime what is it the one i called i can't remember what it is but anyway <laughs> we talk every day you know i'm techno is we talk every day um quite a few times a day and i think the most he started to pack up now this is the stress, apart from not being with my husband at the moment, obviously. Um, we have a three-bedroom house in Warrington, and I'm, we're living in a flat down here. So a lot of stuff has got to go into storage. Um, now, what do you keep and what don't you keep? If we get, when we get a new place, we don't want no more than a two bedroom. We don't want a big place because I'm very independent. I'm very much like to do my own things. And because my situation at the moment, the smaller, the better for me to have to maintain. Um, so at the moment, a lot of stuff is going to have to go into storage. But what do you actually keep? What do you put in storage? What do you bring to the flat? And what do you discard altogether? Um, and you don't realise. Well, you probably do. After three, 15 years in a three-bedroom house with just the two of us, you know the cupboards and the, the spaces that you store stuff in, um, you just forget you've got it. You you forget you've got it. And Baz is on the phone to me, you know, filming every day. And, he's, and we're sharing uh, what we can online. So he's doing the stuff online. So first of all, like, we'll do the kitchen cupboards. Do you want this? Do you want that? Do you discard this? Do you want this put in storage? And, we, you know, we're, we're separating it that way. But poor Baz is doing the physical side of it, obviously. But um, the most... I think the most sentence he has said consistently is just how many bleep, 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 bleep clothes have you got? <laughs> I, keep getting, I get a phone call. How many bleep, bleep, bleep clothes have you got? I've got quite a few. Anyway, he started, when he started on my clothes, 
he um, went through the big double wardrobe and I've got another single wardrobe in a spare room. Um, and there were seven large bin bag liners, seven large, you know, the dustbin bag liners, full of clothes to go to the charity shop. I mean, seven bags, that's a lot of clothes, isn't it? But because I had the room, I kept them. But they are clothes that I am never going to wear again. They are clothes that, you know, perfectly good and would go to a better home and go to a charity shop. And yet, because I had the storage, and if I had been stayed up north, if circumstances were different, my family I was up north, I would have kept all them. And you think, why did I keep, why? Seven black bin liners. I think I've got two, one and a half, two of shoes, handbags. Um, he's not touched my makeup. He's just put it all in boxes. <laughs> he said, I'm not touching that stuff. So he's put it all in boxes and then I'll decide that for myself. <laughs> um, and then we're going to do the kitchen. Well... We're doing that sometime this week. He's going through it. It's but starting to look at it. I mean, I've, we must have about 50, 60 mugs. You know, what, what do you do with it? Why do you need that many mugs? And some of them, like, they store to the back of a cupboard because and they're not in daily use. My daily use ones, I've got a cupboard full, but the the other ones all stored at the back of the cupboard. They haven't been touched for years. Why are they there? They go to a charity shop would be much better. I've got two food processors, um, um, umpteen different things that you know. As we're pulling it out, and and I've got a a, a penny maker, a press. And then at the back, I've got the one I had before, like an old one. Why is it there? Why is it there? But it's, there is so much, so much. Um, Furniture-wise, a lot of our furniture will flat pack. We are not bringing the bedroom suite my main bedroom suite because to be honest it's built in and it will be pointless so when we get our own you know our own place um we will just buy a complete new bedroom suite the front room furniture is, is new so we'll bring everything in the front room, but that will go into storage including the three piece which is new that will go into storage carpets and things like that will go into storage Curtains, I said no, because, you know, ch the chances of getting windows the same size. Um, some of the bigger drapes I, I, I'm going to bring. But the nets and things like that, no, no, because chances of getting the same size again. Um, ch there's some chairs, kitchen chairs we don't want it. We wanted to get new anyway. We didn't like the old style. Um, so there's lots and lots of things that, you know, can be left behind and there are lots of things that can go into storage and lots of things that can go to a charity shop. But trying to do it is really hard, but trying to do it on a, a, a live feed to each other. Um, and then I've got a, he's saying, right, this is him doing my clothes. This is a keep. This is a charity shop. This is a throw out because it's no good. And this is an I'm not sure. So we <laughs> did that. And then there's this great big pile of no, not sure. And I went through that rule of if you haven't worn it for a year. So I said, right, no, I haven't worn that for about two years. No, charity shop. And I, we did it like that. Because... It's ridiculous. I would never be able to store everything. And I didn't know I had all that. I mean, cupboards in the spare room, you know, drawers in the spare room um, are full of stuff that I, d I just don't know why I kept old now kits and lots and lots of stuff. It's unbelievable what you come across. Things that I've forgotten. I had ornaments that I've put away that I haven't seen for years. 
you know, he, you drink, oh my goodness, I forgot I had that, you know. But it is really stressful, it is. And trying to think what to do with stuff and, you know, the, the, what size lorry, lorry, and um, removal van, you know, you need to order and, um, oh. It is, it, it is a total nightmare. If you've got any tips for me about moving or how to de-stress about moving, please tell me because at the moment it's taking all my day up every day trying to think what to do and what not to do. So I'm sorry if my videos are a little bit up and down this week. Um, but, you know, I'll be just be glad. I don't mind waiting for the house. A house of our own and we're perfectly comfortable in this little flat for a little while we're perfectly comfortable it's just the actual process of the moving and the storing and the what to do and what to take and what, where to put oh it's, it's driving me totally up the wall um i totally understand if you didn't want to watch this video <laughs> because i know i'm driving everyone mad but um if you've got any tips on what to do, we've bought lo lots of those big plastic boxes. You know the great big plastic boxes with lids? Um, and also lots of bubble wrap for the paintings and pictures. He's bubble wrapped all the pictures and the paintings. and They're all bubble wrapped up. Um, so, yeah. And that's another thing as well. Do you want this picture? Do you want that painting? Do you want this? You, oh, it's a nightmare. I'll see you again on Friday with hopefully a calmer video. Thank you for watching. I love you all. Good job you love me and now you put, put up with all this moaning. I'll see you again on Friday. Take care.